Hello, everyone, and my name is Lisa, and if you are a first-timer here, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back, and thank you so much for coming back and supporting my YouTube channel. I had this whole <laughs> theme planned out for today about um, really tuning on into Shakti energy, embodying Shakti energy. To be honest, my brain is a bit frazzled. It's quite late at night, and I had a really off and rough day. And I'm sure we all can identify with moments like that. That being said, I still want to be able to give and to produce and to continue to do this because I'm so passionate about it and I love it so much. And even if I'm inconsistent, the consistency is I, I keep coming back and I keep getting up on the horse and I keep trying. So I am gonna do a bit of a shock flow, but this will be tuning on into your power when you feel quite powerless at times, when you feel low, when you feel like things are out of control. Divine goddess energy or Shakti energy for me means stepping into the power to cultivate the life I deserve, even when life throws universal curveballs at me. And I find it so important to tune on into that energy when we feel ungrounded, especially in such ungrounding times. So with that, let's go ahead and begin the class in child's pose. Bring the knees mat distance apart or allowing the knees to fall underneath the belly and just coming into child's pose. This practice it selfishly is for me, <laughs> though um, I am sharing it with you today so we can co-create together. Take a nice big deep inhale into the body. And sigh it out. Maybe as you sigh out, you wanna get deeper into the pose, maybe allowing the knees to be mat, mat distance apart. Maybe you sway from side to side. Getting to the hips. Massaging the forehead. From this place of balasana, child's pose. Maybe you can just allow yourself to feel safe and grounded within the four corners of your yoga mat. Begin to set an intention for yourself for this practice. What is it that you need to feel grounded, to step into your power, and maybe it's to simply breathe, or to be vulnerable, or to trust, or to let go. So whatever that intention is, go ahead and set it. Breathing in. And sighing out. And from here, slowly begin to walk the hands all the way over to the right. Come up on to the left fingertips and feel a nice stretch from the left fingertips all the way to the left glute muscle. Inhaling. And exhaling. Walking the hands all the way over to the left, coming up onto the right fingertips, bowing on down, breathing in, and sighing it out. 
bring the hands back through center and then go ahead slowly make your way into tabletop position shoulders over the wrists hips over the knees curling the toes under begin to send the heart over the right wrist over the left Maybe begin to pretend that there's a paintbrush at the edge of your tailbone and you can just trace circles with the hips one way or the other. And as you're moving and playing, and if you notice there's some pressure on the knees, you can always take a blanket, place it underneath the knees or simply fold your yoga mat right at that spot. And let's go ahead and come into a little bit of a moon-like flow. Bring the toes together as the knees come mat distance apart. Come to sit back into child's pose and then go ahead, see if you can send the heart through the gateway of the arms as if you're trying to pull your mat back and then just slowly scoop the heart through the gateway of the arms and then come back as if you're sitting into child's pose and then just continue the movement Breathing in, sighing out, letting the day go. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but when days are rough, my yoga mat's a sanctuary and it actually feels really good right now to just come to it as if I'm doing a practice on my own, even though I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> Take a nice big deep breath in, sigh it out. Last big deep inhale and exhale and slowly come back into child's pose. See if you can slide the hands underneath the shoulders, curl the toes under, press into the hands and the feet, lift the knees up, send the hips up nice and high and come into your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, and begin to pedal out the legs, bending through one leg, reaching through opposite heel. And I invite you to really move in any way that feels good. I know I'm just walking my dog. And if you are a beginner yogi and you notice your back is rounding, you can just lengthen through the spine by bending the knees, sending the belly to the tops of the legs, really pressing the floor away with the fingertips. If you want to explore more options, maybe you can come up onto the balls of the feet, sending the heels to one side or the other. Maybe you can move into plank and then find downward dog, but I invite you to really be creative here. I'm going to continue to pedal out the legs, inhaling and exhale, moving in any way that feels good. <laughs> Last two breaths. Last big deep inhale and exhale. Go ahead, slowly send that right hand towards that left foot. Maybe it doesn't go all the way towards the left foot. Maybe you're just reaching and that's okay. Bend the knees if you need to and reach. But if it, you can take a hold of the ankle or maybe just the side of the foot, go ahead and do so bending the right elbow, gazing underneath the left armpit, inhaling and exhale. You can bend the left elbow as well if you feel it creates a little bit more space. Last big deep breath in and exhale and release and go ahead take it into the opposite side finding stillness and downward facing dog sliding that left hand to the right ankle gazing underneath the armpit inhaling and exhale Take a nice big deep breath in and exhale. 
and release. Slowly inhale the right heel up towards the ceiling. Draw the knee towards the nose. Step the right foot in between the hands or help that right foot forward, taking a hold of the ankle, stepping it on through. Release the left knee on down. Bring the top of the left foot to the floor, coming into Kali Mudra fingertips. First finger and thumb is free and Kali goddess who is the remover of ego by cutting off your head <laughs> or her the head of those who um you know are led by ego not anyone's head the wise and enlightened they keep their heads and then go ahead reach the fingertips up and back for those of you who know a little bit more about kali comment it down below inhaling reaching the fingertips up and back exhale sending the hips forward and down what i love to do is just cradle the back of my head like a mother holding her child. It's just so relieving. Breathing in and sighing it out. Last big deep breath here. And exhale and slowly release the hands down. Bring both hands to the inside of the right foot, heel toe the right foot all the way to the outside edge of the yoga mat. And then send the hips forward and back by curling the left toes under for it to help with the momentum. The hips forward and back, forward and back. Two more breaths. Moving and flowing with how you feel. Not letting the emotions, no emotions get left behind. Last big deep breath in. And sighing it out. From here, ground down through the right foot. Step the left foot to meet the right. Come into a squat with me. Let me just move my microphone to the side. So sitting on down, turning the toes outward as the heels turn inward and just staying here for a moment. If the heels lift in your squat, you're here. You can always, again, place a blanket directly underneath the heels of the feet. If you are here, or maybe even here, that's okay too. Stay there. Take a nice big deep breath in and sigh it out. Last big deep inhale and exhale. Slowly come into forward fold. Inhale, slide the hands towards the knees for a flat back or come up onto the fingertips. And exhale to release, bend the knees, step on back. You can hop on back as well if it calls to you. Let's go ahead and go through a vinyasa. Take a nice big deep inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale, the knees come down. The heart slowly lowers down onto the yoga mat as the hips stay up nice and high. Bring the tops, the feet to the floor, slide, wiggle on through, inhale. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedal out the legs, move and breathe. And anyway, that feels good. We're gonna take that into the opposite side. From here, inhale, sweeping the left heel up towards the ceiling, squaring the heart as well as the hips down towards the yoga mat, hugging the inner thighs in towards one another, keeping a slight bend in the elbows if you need it. And then draw the knee in towards the nose, round in the upper back. Help or step that left foot in between the hands. Bring the right knee on down. The top of the right foot comes to the floor. Kali Mudra fingers, thumbs crossed in the other direction and how sweep the fingertips forward and up sending the hips forward and down you can cradle the back of the head if it feels good or you can stay here in that crescent lunge breathing in sighing it out honoring the moon and all its cycles and all its emotions and everything in between inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in. And exhale. 
Release the hands on down to the inside of the left foot. Heel, to, heel toe the left foot all the way to the outside edge of your yoga mat. Curl the right toes under, send the hips forward and back, forward and back. Deep breath in and sighing it out. From here, go ahead, bend on into the left knee. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, Malasana Garland posture one last time. They say that we store a lot of our tension in the hips, a lot of our emotions in the hips. And I completely agree. In moments like this, I truly need, or in days like this, I truly need hip openers. And Mahadevi is known to be really connected with the root chakra, sacral chakra, due to creativity, fertility, everything in between life force energies in the root chakra. Last big deep breath in. And sigh it out. And release the hands. Slowly come into forward fold. Sway from side to side. And then from here, inhale to your flat back. Exhale, release. Go ahead and step the right foot back, heel toeing the left foot to center. We step the right foot back, we pivot the right foot down onto the yoga mat, and then we walk the hands all the way over to the right side as we turn on to the heel of the foot. So we're in wide-legged forward fold. Take a hold of opposite or take a hold of your ankles or wrap two peace sign fingers around the big toes. Send the sit bones up nice and high and exhale, really fold forward. Let's twist out the day. Send the left hand to center, sweep that right hand on up, inhale. Exhale, thread the right hand underneath that left armpit reaching. Inhaling to sweep. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last big deep breath in. And exhale. Great work. Inhale, reach that right hand on up. Swim that right hand on down opposite side. Inhale, left hand comes up. You have it. And thread it. Breathing in. Exhaling like the ocean waves. Inhale. And exhale. Twice more. Last time. Go ahead, release, forward fold. Send the heels inward, send the toes outward. Go ahead, walk the hands all the way over to that right foot, bending on into the right knee, and then the left. And maybe we come up onto the heels of the feet. Maybe we widen our stance, coming into Skandasana. We have fun with it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we take it a step back. <laughs> Two more breaths, inhaling and exhale. Last big deep breath in and exhale. From here, go ahead slowly come to sit into wide-legged forward fold. So I just took one of my legs and then I brought it on down and then I'm just gonna open up my legs just like that. And if it gets confusing, just come to sit in any way that feels really good for you. And now sweep the right hand up and over. And just breathe into the right side of the body as you gaze on down. Maybe we use a block, 
to bring our left hand and feel a little bit higher so we're not dumping too much in. Maybe we don't. Big deep inhale. Gentle exhale. Maybe we come deeper. Maybe not. Last big deep breath in. And exhale slowly. Come back through center, opposite side. Inhale, sweeping the left hand up and over. Again, you can use the block to the inside of the foot if it feels good. Maybe we don't need a block, we come a bit deeper. And from here, inhale up and exhale, fold. Keep a slight bend in the knees and shorten the stance if you need to. Big deep breath in and exhale. Slowly come to rise all the way on up. Go ahead, bring the hands underneath the knees and bring the legs together. Slowly coming to face the front of the yoga mat. Let's go ahead, draw the navel on in, send the knees towards the chest, come into a boat pose. Staying strong in your power, melting the shoulders over the ears. And I ask you, what does it mean to step into your power? Maybe you want to straighten the legs, especially after that nice hamstring stretch. The legs may feel nice and open. What does it mean to step into your power? <laughs> Maybe we can wrap two piece fingers around the big toes. I'm not just talking about stepping into your power on the yoga mat, off the yoga mat as well. When the world is challenging, when the world throws at you a challenging posture, how do you stay in your power? Do you back out? Do you stop resisting? Maybe we want to bring the legs nice and wide. And for those of you who wish to see this at a nice cool angle, let's see. There we go. Hold with me for three more breaths. Last big deep inhale, exhale, bring the soles of your feet together <laughs> and release. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, Baddha Konasana. You are enough. You are doing enough. And you are exactly where you are meant to be. <sighs> Inhale, rising through head, neck, and chest. <sighs> Bringing the knees together. Let's go ahead and take this on down. So I want to go ahead and show you guys legs up the wall, one of my favorite postures. So for legs up the wall, we're going to go ahead and roll onto our side. And I'm going to roll onto the side that the mic pack isn't on. 
So we come to roll onto her side, like we're curling up in a ball, getting ready for bed. See if you can get the hips as close to the wall as possible. And then we go ahead and we just roll ah, onto our backs. There's really no graceful way to get into legs up the wall, especially if you wanna get deeper into that um, L shape. You just have to kind of scooch <laughs> and get into it. You can even take a block, oh, bring it right underneath. After an extremely intense day, <laughs> this pose is lovely. And just so you know, guys, this is my cat's toy <laughs> that I just <laughs> landed on. So <laughs> it's just been one of those days where I'm kind of letting the authenticity in. Thank you, Pedro, behind the camera. And I'm not really stopping for anything or saying, oh, let's do that again. No, let's just be here in the authentic moment. And that too is stepping into your divine goddess energy, being vulnerable, being messy. That's okay. Let the energy of the blood flow flow from the feet back to the heart. This is very good if you have high blood pressure. You can stay here for the remainder of class if you wish. And you don't need to do this with the wall. You can actually do this without the wall at your yoga mat. Probably should have stayed that earlier. <laughs> so if you wanna try it out without the wall, go ahead. But you don't necessarily need the wall for this pose. It's just an option. Stay here for as long as you wish, or you can come on out. If the block is underneath you, press into the feet, or bend the knees, press into the feet, lift the hips, and slowly lower the hips on down, removing the block. And then just roll back onto the side and press away from the wall. You can stay at the wall if you wish. If not, come with me to do our last final twist, and then find traditional Shavasana at the yoga mat. Final twist, hug the knees in towards the chest, and then allow the feet to fall wider than mat distance apart. Allow the knees to fall on over to the left, and you can stay there. You can place the left side of the foot onto the right knee and bring the hands overhead. And you can almost imagine like this is a sort of reclined pose that feels almost like you're dancing or skipping. Maybe you can lean over to the side and allow the divine feminine energy to flow through this posture. <sighs> Allowing yourself to melt into sensuality and emotions, or fierceness, or whatever it is you need to explore. Slowly come back through center and bringing both feet down again, a little bit wider than mat distance apart. Allow the knees to fall on over to the right. And then again, place that right side of the foot onto the left knee. Find a pose that works for you. Maybe coming into goddess arms, cactusing out the arms, bringing the first finger and thumb together. <sighs> Honoring the divine goddess that is within all of us. Divine Feminine, Mahadevi. <sighs> you have the power.
life force is within all of us. And I ask you again, what does it look like to step into your power? Shavasana, letting the world flow by, feeling safe and cradled in the palm of the universe's hands. And you can stay here for as long as you wish, meditating on this Shakti energy, this life force energy, the moon, the feminine, the vulnerability, the shadow work the chaos and the healing. Again, you can stay here for as long as you wish. Coming on to the side and pressing on up to Sukhasana, comfortable seated position. I end this class with these last, this last affirmation for you. I am the universe. You have everything in you to change the world and achieve your dreams. Anything you want to do, just like the universe, you have the energy, beauty, and greatness in you. Man, did I need that. I am the universe. I hope it served you as well. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me today, for honoring your emotions, your feeling on the yoga mat, and hopefully you feel a little bit more grounded to step into your power when the world seems a bit chaotic, when life seems a bit chaotic. Remember, we are from a long line of survivors born from women and all of our ancestors that have come before us are resilient. May you always find grace, vulnerability, love, resilience, and divine Shakti energy to help you cultivate the world and life you deserve. Bowing down to the divine light that is within each and every single one of us. Om Shanti Shanti, my friends. Blessings. Have a good night. And Namaste.